In this video, I want to show you how to set up your machine for local development on Windows. There's going to be three steps to this process. First, set up Flutter, then GitHub, then finally Android Studio. Now, you don't have to set up GitHub, but I find that it's a lot faster because then you don't have to constantly be downloading your code from Flutterflow and you can just sync it directly from GitHub. Okay, so first let's install Flutter. So if you go over to flutter.dev, get started, and we're on a Windows machine, and you can check the specs here, and go ahead and download Flutter. It should just take a few minutes, it's a gig and a half, and then you're just gonna unzip it to wherever you wanna store your Flutter files. Next, you're gonna wanna update your path so that you can run Flutter from anywhere in your file system. So first, you're gonna wanna grab your path to wherever you installed your Flutter project. So here's my Flutter project on my system, and if you just go up into the toolbar here and then copy this file path, that's what you want. Then you're gonna to wanna to go into your start menu and search for ENV, and you should see this edit, the system environment variables, which is exactly what you want. And then you want to hit your environment variables. And then if you don't have a path, you probably do, but if you don't, you wanna add a path option and then you edit it here. And then you can see here that I've already added mine in, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is just add a new one and then paste in that path right there. And then you can run Flutter anywhere in your file system from the command line. Okay, great. And then to just confirm that you've got Flutter installed correctly, you can go and just run Flutter Doctor. So let's just do that now. So you can see here that our Flutter installation is all good. We don't have any errors, so those would be red right here. We've just got two issues. And issues means, you know, this might be an issue, but it won't stop your app from compiling or running. It will also give you directions. So you can see here, Android toolchain, blah, 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 blah. And it'll give you some directions. Hey, run Flutter Doctor, Android licenses. We'll deal with our licenses in a second. So we're all good here. If you've got any issues, any errors, you can just follow the directions it gives you there. And if you're running into any problems, please reach out to us or comment in the video and we can help you out. Okay, great. So let's exit out of our, our command line and we're all good with Flutter. Next, let's install GitHub Desktop. So if you just go ahead, go to desktop.github.com and download GitHub Desktop, this is really the easiest way to sync your projects between Flutterflow, GitHub, and your local computer. So I've already got it downloaded. Once you've got it downloaded, open it up. Got GitHub Desktop right here. Great, and if you don't have an account, you're gonna wanna create a free account. If you if you don't have an account, just create an account because you'll need that too to sync with Flutterflow. Let's go to our GitHub account and let's make a new project. We have to make a new repo for Flutterflow to push the code into. So just come over here to the drop down, and we're going to do a new repository. And our repo name, you just see here, I've got this project, this dummy project here. I've got Firebase set up with just some colors we're going to be referencing. And so we're just going to call this data. You want it to be a private repo and make sure in order to initialize the project that you add a readme file. You won't be able to push code to the repo unless you have an initialized repo and go ahead and create the repository. Okay, great. The last thing we need to do in GitHub is to install the Flutterflow app. So if you come over to your project and into your settings and scroll down to integrations and GitHub, you can see you'll have to install the Flutterflow GitHub app, and that's precisely what we'll do. We want to install it. And normally you want it only on select repositories. And we can select that one we just made. That'll be great. And install, and it should just take a second. There we go. So GitHub is all set up. Now let's hook up Flutterflow, our app, to that repo. So we're gonna need the full repository URL. So let's come over to that project. And when you're in the, the main, if you just click on there, or if you go to here, you can just click on repo and click on there. And this is gonna be that full URL. 
So just grab that URL, put it in here, associate the repo. Awesome, we're associated. And now we can push our code to the repo. So this is what you'll wanna do anytime you've made enough changes that you wanna test it. So let's just push it right now. So you push it and then we're gonna have a commit message and we're just gonna say, hey, first commit and push it. This happens really fast. Okay, so let's just confirm that we have our code here. So let's just refresh and make sure this doesn't trick you up. If you pull down, there's gonna be two branches here. We've got this main branch that we just made on initialization, but Flutterflow is gonna push it to this Flutterflow branch, and then we can see our project in here. Okay, awesome. So now we've got the first half of setting up our Flutterflow project for a local run done. That is to say, we've hooked up GitHub to Flutterflow, so now we can just push our code to GitHub. Okay, great. Now let's do all the stuff we need to do on our machine. Okay, it's great. So here's my repo that we connected from Flutterflow and we're just gonna clone it to our system. That sounds good. And let's go to our main branch and we're all good. Okay, great. Lastly, we need to install Android Studio. So let's come down here and our flutter.dev Android Studio and download Android Studio. Accept the credentials, that all sounds good. I've already got it installed, so I'm just gonna cancel that out. All right, so let's open up Android Studio. And let's open up that project. So you wanna go into your GitHub account, into your system wherever GitHub put your account. Normally GitHub will just be in your whatever user you are and then documents GitHub and then there'll be all your projects. So you can just open that up. You wanna trust the projects. I'm just gonna say trust all the projects. And yes, I wanna open them in a new window. Okay, great, so here's our project. To run our device on an emulator, let's come over to device manager here. And I've already got a device installed here, but here's what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna create a device and then you can choose whatever device you want to install. So let's say you wanna install a Pixel 5, go next, and here's all the operating systems you can install. And I've already downloaded R right here, but you can install any 86 or 8664 OS that you want. It's a little big, so it should take just a few minutes. Then after that's done, go next and finish up, and then you'll have your device. Last thing we need to do is we need to agree to the Android licenses. So back on our Flutter page right here, you can see the instructions for agreeing to Android licenses. First thing, make sure you've got Java 8 installed. So if you just Google search for Java and install it, you should be good with that. And then make sure another environment variable, and I'll show you how to do this, your Java underscore home environment variable is set to the Java, the Java folder. Okay, so let me show you that. So if you just, once you go in here, env to go to your environment variables, environment variables, and this is gonna be in your system variables right here. And so here is my variable, and so it's just, you literally tap in the name. So let's just go down here and edit it so you can see what it's gonna look like. Cause it looks a little bit different for our user variables. And so you just have the name right there and then wherever your Java is installed. So this is a typical installation in your program files, Java and then JRE, blah, 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 version number. Then you're all good with that. And then once you have Java installed, you can run Flutter Doctor Android in your command prompt to agree to the licenses. So let's just copy that. Let's open up our command prompt. So to accept the licenses, you're accepting them for the project that you're working in. So you want to change directories into that GitHub project. So I know where mine is, and you can just grab that file path again. And from here, you can just run that Flutter Doctor Android license command. Now I've already done this, which is why this is what we see. But if it's the first time you do it, you'll you'll have seven licenses to accept and it's just gonna ask you to essentially read it and press Y and so you just go Y, 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 Y and then all of your licenses will be accepted for this project. Then you can run Flutter Doctor to make sure everything and all the dependencies are installed properly. Great, and you can see, unlike before with our Android tool chain, we've accepted our licenses, so now that issue is resolved. Okay, great, so we're ready to run our app. So let's go over to Android Studio, and you can go over to the device that you installed, and we're gonna start our emulator, and you can just do that by pressing this button right here. 
All right, so we got our emulator going here. Now, the last thing we have to do is we have to run a few commands to compile our code before we run it. Now, you can do this in your command prompt on Windows, or you can do it in the integrated terminal in Android Studio. I'm gonna show you how to do that just because we haven't done it yet. So you come over into View, Tool, Windows, and Terminal. And it'll pop you right into your project that you have open in Android Studio. Okay, so the first thing is Flutter Pub Get. I'm just gonna copy that. Run that, that's all good. And then we're going to run Flutter Packages. And this is only if you have Firestore. So if you don't have Firestore, then you don't need to worry about this. So now we're ready to run our Flutter project. And so to do that, you just go Flutter Run. Okay, awesome. So we've got our emulator up here. We've got our app running on here. And now let's make a change push it to GitHub and see it updated. So let's go back over to our app. Let's just change the title right here instead of colors. Let's just call it fruits. And then we give it a go into our GitHub. And so we're just right down here and we're gonna push it to our repository that we set up. And this should take just a second. Awesome. Now we're gonna go over to our GitHub desktop and we're gonna fetch the latest version and then go over to Android and click R for a hot reload. Sometimes you need to give it a second, so I'm gonna pull another from the origin and then do our hot reload. And there we can see fruits. So that's how you run your Flutterflow apps locally on your Windows machine. Let us know if you have any comments or questions or you're running into any problems and we'll see you in the next video.